Seattle baseball fans, and welcome. It's Major League Baseball on a Friday night. It's the Kansas City Royals taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and on the hill today Taj Bradley base runners are tough to come by with him out there Chris. Well he's been a very dependable starter for his club and what stands out for me is that left handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball maybe it's the release point maybe it's the motion but just some way somehow they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Strike two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Kicks and fires. Off the plate. Now one and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next one is off the play. Now two and two. And that's a little bit high. Ground ball right side. Aranda. On to first. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. This team can really pile up the runs, Chris. They're among the top teams in scoring this year. Yeah, and when you can get a lead and be out in front, it really changes what that opposing manager can do with the bullpen. And on top of that, it helps your own pitching staff. It gives them more margin for error. So instead of pitchers squeezing the ball, trying to throw darts and be perfect, they can relax, let the ball come out of their hands and pitch effectively. So that offense and the ability to score runs also helps the pitching and the defense. One down, base is empty. Ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Work back down to first with him. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. And now, Vinny Pasquantino. Here comes the 01. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. The throw into second. Thrown in is offline, so he'll get in there with a two out double. Just a really nice job of turning on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. So two down. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. There's the strike. Well, you always want to come out in the first inning, try to put something up on the board. It's a big two-out double right there. See if the cleanup man can drive him in and put a tally up there on the board. Here's a high fly ball out to center. DeLuca on the move. He's got it. And that's the third out. So one left for Kansas City. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back.
back now in Tampa Bay. Starting on the mound in this one, Michael Waka. Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss, get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. Yandy Diaz leading things off and takes a strike. Diaz hitting leadoff in today's game, and he was born in Cuba. That's to third. And a quick out number one. Batting second. Now a look at Kevin Cash's lineup for the Tampa Bay Rays. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Oh. Takes it himself, and two quick outs That's in the bottom good. of the first here tonight. Third baseman. Third Isaac Paredes now. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. That's Outside, off the that's mark, the and that's ball one. Oh. And a good oh, eye right there. Back. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Two down, nobody on. Right through there for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Righty to the plate. Ball, that's out. Two out spaces empty. Foul ball. Two outs. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Lau at the plate. There's a strike. Close with that one, and now it's even one and one. Paredes leads off first with two down to the inning. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. That ends the inning. The Rays strand just the one, scoreless after one. All set for the start of the inning. And the batter now, Michael Massey. Bradley back to work. Check swing, now it appealed to third. And he went around. That's ruled the swing. That That's one misses. One ball, one strike. One one. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed, you know? Getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from at bat to at bat. That nope. one inside, right, and it's two and one. Yeah. 
And that's outside. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like you did right there. And here's the catcher, Freddie Fermin. And he takes one right out of the black. 0-1. With the go-ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. Swing and a miss. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. And here it comes. He goes down looking. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. And that one fouled off. Man at first one away. Right through there for a strike. Ball one low. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Righty delivers. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. Second inning here, no score. and misses it's a strikeout oh interesting he's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single back-to-back -back strikeouts so they haven't been able to move that runner up get him in the scoring position to try to have a better chance of scoring i tell you good job so far on the mound he just needs one more out hunter renfro at the plate Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. That one fouled off. And the righty deals. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the AB going. Two outs. Bounce to the left side. They get the force. And that is the inning. Royals lead one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. And the batter now, Jonathan Aranda. Jonathan. Why to kick the pitch? That's a strike across the top of the zone. A little out front there as he swings through it. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. In time to get him, one away in the strikeout. We'll take a look at the three-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, 
he can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Next to hit, Johnny DeLuca. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. Now this is in the air down the line. Renfro right there to make the grab. And there's two away. Richie Palacios next to hit for the Rays. Palacios swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. First pitch doesn't find the zone. All tied up. Bottom half of inning number two. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first. That's the inning. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, here we go. Top of the third scoreless game. So up now for Kansas City, Kyle Isbell. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And a foul ball. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one away. So the Royals batting order turns over. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals. Grounded out his first time. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stop. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Now a screamer into the outfield. Low brings it in. And there are two down. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on as that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. Is absolutely belted. DeLuca makes a move towards the gap. Won't get to this one in the alley. In with the double and the go ahead runs at second with two out. Waste no time there. Anytime you can drive a ball into the gap the other way, it feels so good. And that's when you know you're right where you need to be at the plate. It's even better when it gets you extra bases. Gotta love looking in at your dugout and seeing your teammates fired up. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Vinny Pasquantino steps in for the Royals. Doubled his first time up. That hey. one's in there, 0 and 1. And it's second. That one not close. And the count is one and one. And he deals. He's trying for third. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. He beat it, and they've got the lead. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Two outs, runner on first. 
Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Nope. Ball That's one, ball. no strikes. Pasquantino off of first with two away. Foul ball there. Two outs. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Dives and makes the catch. We take another look at that great catch. On this turf field, you really have to be sure because there is no forgiveness. He sacrificed. It's going to hurt, but it was totally worth it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now up for Tampa Bay, Jose Caballero. The wind of the pitch. That takes low for ball one. The shortstop takes the ball. There's a strike. the inside corner for a strike. Next pitch is outside. Ben Workvet in the on deck circle. Check swing appeal to first. Yes he did. Down he goes on strikes. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. And stepping in for the Rays, Ben Workvet. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And he pumps it a strike. Trying to hold a one-run lead here in the last half of the third. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sizes this one up. He's got it. And there's two down. The first baseman, number two, Yandy. Diaz. Yandy Diaz now. Really thriving with the bat this season here at home. And that's down and away. That one's in there. Strike one. And another ball. We got two balls, one strike. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Josh Lowe. Grounded out his first time up. And that one fouled off. With the tying run on at first as the Rays try and punch back down a run. And that's outside. Now one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swung on, belted. Is belt on a dead sprint, racing back. Bounces off the wall as he makes a great grab. Oh, man, amazing catch to end the inning. As a former outfielder, I'm feeling proud right now. Saw the wall, didn't get afraid, held on to the ball.
back here at Tropicana Field out of the fourth and now Michael Massey the pitch just missed well these Royals did a great job Boog of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them he's only given up one run but the starters pitch count is starting to get up there and that might be the best news yet for this offense you know sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage and that might be the case today next is the Royals catcher Freddie for And that one fouled off. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Strike two. And that's in the dirt. One two now. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here too. too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat so might have it timed up and ready for it. Still two and two after the foul ball. One out base is empty. Fouls that off to the left and we'll do it again. And he grounds one to the right side. Aranda. Over to first. So it was a long battle at the plate, but they still managed to get the out. Two outs, base is empty. Now the left fielder, MJ Melendez. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Two down, nobody on. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Royals go down one, two, three, but they're on top, one nothing. And we're back. And Bottom of the fourth. Four now up for Tampa Bay, Isaac Paredes. And a pitch. And that's downstairs and outside. There's the strike. Looking to get the tying run on base. On the ground. Down the line, and it's foul. That one just misses. It's a good take. towards right center field brings it in and there's one down now that the designated hitter Brandon. and now it's Brandon Lau he struck out swinging at his first at bat oh. just missed Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. Holding on to a one-run lead. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that's outside. And it's two and two.
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Up next from Tampa Bay. So two down now, and here is Jonathan Aranda. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. So up next, Johnny DeLuca. He's over one. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0 1. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving. The walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Aranda, the runner at first with two gone. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Fouls it off, still one and two. Two outs. Just off the outside edge, and it's two and two. And it's just foul. That was close. Here's a two two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. The pitch. Line drive. Makes the grab. And that ends the inning. One left for Tampa. They still trail 1-0. Kansas City, Hunter Renfro. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Kevin Kelly warming up for manager Kevin Cash. Alexander warming up as well. Up and in, and that is ball one. The pitch. Ground ball right side. Steps on first for the out. The batter, the center fielder. And now Kyle it's Kyle Isbell. Isbell. Fly to left his first time. In ah. for a strike. Going one. Oh, one's the count. Pulls that one foul. Ball one there. O2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. Good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And yeah, there's two away. Now that third base. Michael. Garcia. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals.
on its way to the corner. And that drops foul. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. They see you win. And ball one. O2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Caught him looking for the K. KC down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. Welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now here is Richie Palacios. Waka back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's down and in. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Can't get to it as it drops into the corner. They'll throw to second, and now the tying run is in the scoring position. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Now a move being made at second base. Bench running here, Jose Siri. Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. A one run lead. And the home team trying to pull it out. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. In the dirt, but kept close. Runner holds. Count goes to one and two. He's gone off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. It's in and out of his glove. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Ben Workvet next to hit for the Rays. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That one finds the zone. And it's 0-1. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The tying run is 90 feet away. And now one and two. They try to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. And there's a ball. That's a really good take. And a pitch. In the air to left center. And a base hit. In from third is the tying run. It's 1-1. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. So the lineup flips over. Yandy Diaz, the next to hit. Right through there for a strike. And the pitch. Oh, he doesn't get the call. One and one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And the right-hander deals. 
right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Slings to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. All even at one apiece. Back after this on the show. So coming into the game now on defense, Jose Siri. He'll be out in left field. Kevin Kelly gets the call from the pen. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone. Now the number two hitter, Bobby Witt Jr., one for two. The Bobby Witt Jr. And here it comes. Late on that fastball. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. And that's a strike. The shortstop takes the ball. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. And next up for the Royals, Vinny Pasquantino. That's a strike. It's 0-1. One out, the go-ahead run is its second, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Left-hand hitter waits. Ball, that's it. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Left-hand batter waits. Fights that one away, still one and two. Right-handed reliever keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. That one way inside. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Swing at a chopper, and he grabs it in foul ground. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Kicks and deals. We got a full count. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. And a pitch. And that one nope. off the inside edge. You walked him. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. Two on, one out. Salvador Perez steps in for the Royals. Known for his late inning heroics. First pitch misses. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Garrett Clevenger up and loosening in the pen. Maton getting loose as well. Two on, one out. Just missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. At the belt and fires. That one ripped, but foul. Righty to the plate. Pitch ball misses three. there, and that's ball three. Michael Massey next up for Kansas City. And it's ball four. He missed down low. 
Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Now it's the second baseman, Michael Massey. Golden opportunity right here. One oh. In the dirt. Wow, that's a great job behind the dish there. The one oh. That one hooked foul. Pasquantino at second. Perez over at first, so one away. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. The pitch stays alive. Hit collect on the curve ball struck him out. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. And here is Freddie Fermin. Next offering popped in the air, right field. Makes the catch, inning over. Huge opportunity missed there. 2-3-4, two, two up in the home half of the sixth. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Bottom of the sixth, and stepping in for the Rays, Josh Lowe. Man at second, nobody out, Chris. Certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. On the ground to the left. One away, bottom of the sixth. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Isaac Paredes next to hit for the Rays. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Right through there for a strike. Well, they say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. With the winning run standing at second here in the bottom of the sixth. Bounce to the right. Massey. Tosses to first, and yeah, there's two away. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat. To the plate now for the Rays is the DH. Brandon Lau, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. That's a strike going away. And that one upstairs. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. Been painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Fastball for a strike. Going to count one and two. Three. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Huge strike out there. The Rays strand just the one. Score remains tied 1 1. The left hander on now, Garrett Clevenger. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. Here's the left fielder, M.J. Melendez. The left fielder, number one, M.J. Melendez. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter.
kicks and fires. At the ball. You don't want to get one beat one. by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Bounced out to short. Over to Diaz. That's the first out, the top of the seventh. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Renfro, the next to hit, takes high for ball one. With the go-ahead run standing at second here in extra innings. That nope. missed inside. And yeah, that's ball two. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And it's second. Yeah, the two one hammered but foul. And a pitch. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Nice work there to get the strikeout, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this home crowd will be fired up. They can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. So up now for Kansas City, Kyle Isbell. Wouldn't chase that time. Two down, go ahead run and score in position. Splits the plate. And a count one and one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. On the ground. Over to Diaz. Will is set down in order. So one left for Kansas City. Still tied. One one. Tampa Bay digging in Jonathan Aranda second baseman Jonathan Aranda and the right hander back to work and a good eye there right through there for a strike Is a 1 1. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Right hander kicks, deals. Foul ball still a 1 and 2 count. And yeah, the righty deals. That oh, just that misses. Play. The count now 2 and 2. Good job to fight that one off. And he deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. That misses. And a full countdown. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Here comes a pitch. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Yeah, 
Johnny DeLuca next to hit for the Rays. In the air, left field, back there. And it's off the wall. Here comes Lau. Across is the winning run, and they will walk it off in extra innings. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that will be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long from Tampa Bay.